Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back. Doing another unboxing. We already took the plastic off this time. Um, but as you can see, hour of devastation. It's going to be devastating. Yeah, it is. So uh, if you if you missed the special video that we put out, I think that was on Monday. Um, we already opened our prize pool from the pre-release that we went to. So when we do the super seal next week, it's going to be our halves of the box plus the cards that we open there. So if plus you haven't watched your nine packs, yeah. So if you haven't watched uh, that video yet, it'll be down there. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's get these out of here. So what are we hoping for? What do we really want to open here? Nickel Bolas. Yeah. Um, I I just want Doopy Horse. That's really I mean, yeah, and that's Horse. what I care about most. Uh, let's make sure we got evens. These look like even stacks to me. All right, so I'll take these two and this one, and you can have these ones. So I will be starting off with this pack. All right. I guess there's invocations too. That'd be pretty sweet to open one of those. Also, <laughs> really not a fan of the borders. So. I'm not either, but they're worth money, so something. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna bother going through the comments at all. I'll do this one slowly, but if uh, there's like some crazy common in this set that's really good and really playable, let us know in the comments. But I don't think I quite like that blue. Guy that you passed through the blue guy, that one. Oh yeah, sure. I guess those are those are very playable in like living end style decks. Well, more popper even. Yeah, yeah. You I can guess just cycle it and big then hex reanimate guy. it. Um, and there is there is kind of a lack of beefy good things in mm -hmm. popper. So the five five hex is yeah. pretty decent. So uh, we're gonna start with fervent Paincaster. It's our first uncommon. I quite like this card. Not it's not like constructed playable really or anything, but. It's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Rumin Up Ruins. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Don't really care. A Bane Whip Punisher. And our rare is going to be Hour of Devastation. <laughs> yeah. Excellent first right. rare. <laughs> that is pretty good. Uh, this is probably going to be a pretty big player in Standard. Because uh, I guess there's a lot of Gideons running around. We don't really play Standard, but that's what I've heard. So deals with Gideon and all of yeah. the little tutus. Quite also, well. it deals with the uh, Doopy Horse Lord, so maybe yeah. that's a good sign. Maybe you'll open a Doopy Horse Lord, and then I'll have the answer to it when you uh, crush me with it in limited. <laughs> and Full Art Island, pretty, and a cat. Cats are good. Kitty. All right. So that's one pack down. Now we'll do a bolus pack. So I'll probably go through this one a little faster. Just have a garbage pile somewhere. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're gonna start things off with a hope tender, which uh, yeah, never actually read that card. That's interesting, huh? Cool. A braid, very good card. Chief Chef Chef at Dunes Chef at Dunes. Okay, sure. And a rare is Torment of Hailfire. It's kind of cool. Uh, X, black, black, repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Very interesting. And a full art forest. Wow, we're doing good with the That's full art so far. Pretty decent, yeah. Yeah. Two for two. Definitely. Um, I think it's supposed yeah, to be one in four packs. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad odds there. Camel. Do they actually reprint just camel? Like the original camel? I don't think so. Yeah. They should have. Well, they didn't reprint the original desert either. I guess. Yeah. Well, they kind of have to change it to make it a desert, right? It was a desert. Did it have desert as a subtype? That or they yeah. added it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Crook of Condemnation. Fervent Paincaster. A braid. Looks like we have a foil in this pack. Or uh, something even cooler. And a rare is Hour of Revelation. All right. Yeah, two hours so far. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, was it? It was in my sealed pool last time. So I could play two of these in super sealed if I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. Probably won't, but I could. Your planner cleansing doesn't seem like the greatest. No. And we also have 
Never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> Felt thicker. Felt thicker than it was. All right. A bunch of nonsense. We have a Razaketh's right. Interesting card. Very interesting. We have Chandra's defeat, which is a very good defeat. Excellent sideboard card. Yeah. Ooh, Unraveling Mummy. I'm a fan of this card. And we also have Fraying Sanity. It's a curse, which is sweet. Uh, costs two generic and a blue. Enchant player, of course. At the beginning of each end step, Enchanted player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn. This actually seems really sweet in Mill. It'd be sweet with Traumatize. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> and a Full Art Swamp. Beautiful. Three for four. Not bad. Are the rates the same in this as they were in Amonkhet, then? I'd assume that they'd... Yeah. They're one for an Amonkhet. I don't think they'd improve them. Mm-hmm. Because we did pretty well with just those nine packs that we got, too. So we have a Jace's Defeat. Eternal of Harsh Truths. Struggle. I'm going to say Struggle and Survive. I know that's not <laughs> what it is, but that's what I'm going to say. And we have... Resilient Kenra. It's a two mana two two. It's Jackal Wizard, which is a cool Jackal <laughs> combination Jackal of things. Jackal. Um, uh, when Resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is Resilient Kenra's power, and it eternalizes for six. That actually seems I pretty sweet. They've changed some of the rules because of this card. So yeah. if you would like Tragic Slip this to minus thirteen minus thirteen. Yeah. It would just give plus zero plus zero to the creature oh. instead of negatives. <laughs> and in the same way, Death Shadow can no longer be bigger than a 13-13 by itself, even uh. if you're a negative life total. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Didn't know that. And a Full Art Island. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Is it, is it sad that I'm like almost more excited just to open more Full Art Lands than I am to open any of these rares. <laughs> all our lands are sweet. They really are. They can go in any deck, basically. Mm -hmm. So I still, uh, of all the packs I've opened of this set, including the pre-release sealed pool and prizes, I have not opened a Mythic yet. Imaginary Threats. Eternal of Harsh Truths. Claim... Fame. Claim for Fame. Claim Let's for call fame. that one. Claim for Fame. <laughs> Probably one of the best uncommon. Yeah, I'd say so. And we got Wildfire Eternal. I believe that was the buy box promo that we did not get, but uh costs three generic and a red, has a flicked four, it's a one four. Also a zombie jackal cleric. Alright. And uh whenever it attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Don't mess with the white mages. It's pretty cool. Even though he's red. Yeah. <laughs> and full our planes. <laughs> wow. Five for six? Is that I mean, right? If you're not gonna get foils, yeah. full arts are probably better in most cases. It's true. Definitely better than, like, a random foil common. A bunch of nonsense to get through. We have unconventional tactics. I love the art on that. That is pretty cool. And very unconventional. It is true. I don't know what's holding up that plank, but... Magic. I guess. Uh, faith in Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Vile Manifestation. Sand Strangler. And... Something good. Oketra's Last Mercy. For when you really hate burn. Yeah, not 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 big on this. Uh, costs one and two white sorcery. Your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. Eh, eh, and a boring mountain. Oh, you know why? Are these uh these might be thicker it than could be. the average card? So that maybe is why some of these feel like they should have a foil in them, but they don't. All right. Go through the poop. Angel of the God Pharaoh. I imagine this is very good and limited. Saving Grace. Neat. Riddle form. And our rare slash mythic is... Didn't... Did I already open one of these? I think you opened one yeah. of those in the first... Not in this set. Oh, in the other. Okay. Well, I'll read it anyway. Video. It's a refuse... Refuse or cooperate. <laughs> uh, three generic and a red. Instant. Uh, refuse deals damage 
to target spells controller, equal that spells converted mana cost, and then you can aftermath it. Copy target instant or sorcery spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Interesting. And a forest. Boring one at that. Alright, still no mythics. I'll even take a poop mythic at this point. Just so I can say I've opened one in the set. We have a Gideon's Defeat. Ramanop Ruins. Ominous Sphinx. It's a cool card. And Bantu's Last Reckoning. Oh, actually, I like this card. Mm -hmm. So, two black and a colorless. Destroy all creatures. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. After they said they won't print any more four mana wrath, they print the three mana wrath. <laughs> but uh, it's also kind of four mana wrath because it yeah, skips your more turn or less. four. So. More or less. Um, and boring swamp, and whatever that is. Yeah, I don't think that card's oops, gonna be uh, replacing like toxic anger deluge gods, or yeah. anger of the gods or anything in any format. But uh, it's cool. It's a cool card. I like it. It's no damnation mm -hmm. either, but it's cool. Resolute Survivors, Quarry Beetle, Doom Diviner, and I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to pull and then be disappointed. <laughs> it's a magic mirror. It's a, ma it's a mirage mirror. Oh, it's, it's a mirage, mirage mirror. mirror. I guess it is a magic mirror. This is Magic the Gathering. Um, so, it costs three generic. It's artifact, obviously. Uh, pay two, and Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Eh, it's neat. Be all the things. Kind of neat. All right, now we're uh, not getting any full arts anymore. <laughs> Exhausted all the luck. Used it all up on full arts. Oh, you know what? Actually, I thought of something else that I wanted. I want more of the. Uh, I want more of that cat guy. It's not really a cat lord, but the one that spits Pride out sovereign. cats. Yeah, the one that has a litter. It's just pertinent all the time. So we have a blood water entity, sifter worm. Dune Diviner, and Jeru with op eyes open. Three generic, two whites, four three, Vigilance, legendary. Uh, with Jeru with eyes wide open enters the battlefield. You may search your library for a Planeswalker card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. If a source would deal damage to a Planeswalker, you control prevent one of that damage. <sighs> That's what that does. Ooh, and we have a Foil Cunning Survivor, which, uh, yeah, interesting. Mix essentially makes it unblockable when you cycle things. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Pumps it a little bit. Good in the right deck. All right. Moving on. Maybe he can sit next to, uh... He'd sit next to... Not a noose constrictor. What's the common one? The common one. The one that... Wild mongrel. Constrict. Yeah. Yeah. Sit next to wild mongrel. Wild Com mongrel. And popper. Yes. Because you discard yeah. all things to... It's pretty good. Wild mongrel. So, we have another Terrible Tutor, Bane Whip Punisher, Inferno Jet, and we have Amit Eternal. This is a good card. So Three mana, five, five. Also a zombie crocodile demon. I think someone opened another one of these on camera, I think, right? Did think you so? get one of these? In the first set, I think. Maybe. Or it might have been in one of our uh, pre-release pools, I'm not sure. But it's uh, two colorless and a black. It's a 5-5 five, five with a flick three. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you put a minus one, minus one counter on it. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you remove all minus one, minus one counters from it. Pretty good. And a boring island. All right. Well, one mythic would be nice. Just, just, just one. I don't think I'm asking for that much. We have a river hoop, hoopo. I almost said hoopoo, -hoo, but uh, that's that's cool. I really like the art on this card, actually, mm -hmm. a whole lot. Interesting. If near Deadlands, consign. Actually, don't. Is it consigned to Oblivion? Yes. I imagine it's supposed to be. We're gonna say uh, consigned for Oblivion. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Nicobolus himself. Nicobolus, God Pharaoh. A lot of text on this bad boy. Costs four generic, and then Grixis uh, starts with seven. It goes up two. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. It can go up one. Each opponent exiles two cards from his or her hand. It can go down four to deal seven damage to target opponent or creature an opponent controls. And it can go down twelve to exile each non-land permanent your opponent's control. Seems, seems pretty good. 
Seems yeah, if like you can resolve that, he's yeah. basically going to win seems the game like for a, you. Seems like a sweet one. And a boring mountain. But it doesn't matter. Because he's pretty good. Okay, so we just opened a bolus. So uh, let's open a bolus pack. Now I, I can I can rest easy now. Because I've opened at least one mythic in this You were set. found worthy by the god Pharaoh. And it was a good one. It was a good one. I don't know what shell that would fit into of stuff that we play, but... Eh. Maybe. Tron with Oath of Nyssa. Sure. <laughs> Deal. Um, okay, so we have a P uh, appeal, I assume, appeal to authority. Um, I got nothing, so I'm just going to call it that. We have a Desert's Hold. We have an Obelisk Spider. It's a pretty decent card. And we have Hostile Desert. Eh. All right. Um, you can tap for Colorless. Exile a land, or pay two and exile a land card from the graveyard, and it becomes a 3-4 elemental until end of turn. That's kind of cool. It's a, that's a weird, weird type of man land. You mm -hmm. have to pay by exiling a desert. Well, because all land, deserts I have guess. cycling. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Good with fetch lines, but, too. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's open Strong Independent Black Woman last. So we'll do this one first. I don't want to do two boluses in a row. That's just asking for trouble. Got a bunch of stuff. Unconventional tactics. Sand Strangler. Saving Grace. And Champion of Wits. Boo. Alright, so uh, two colorless and a blue. It's a 2-1. When it enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power. If you do, discard two cards. So, it's kind of like a... Well, Faithless Looting, but I was trying to think of the blue one. Its name I can't remember all of a sudden. Careful Study. Careful Study, yeah. But uh, it eternalizes for seven, in which case then you'd be drawing four and discarding two. If you pump spell it in Mountain. response, too, you can also draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. Um, yeah, so we'll do this one now, piece by piece, apparently. You could turn a giant growth into an ancestral recall that way. Yeah, that's not bad. Not too bad. Sunset Pyramid... Love the art on that card. Obelisk Spider. I really like the flavor of it, too. Yeah. You're building the monuments in mm -hmm. Amiket and then Hour of Devastation, you're destroying them. It is pretty neat. <laughs> uh, Overcome and Neheb the Eternal. Another mythic. Not uh, not my that's favorite the one. mythic I opened but... in the Monday's video. Yeah. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> so uh, we have three generic, two red. It's a legendary creature zombie minotaur warrior. That is a mouthful, like you said. Before. Uh, flick 3, it's a 4-6. Beginning of your post-combat main phase, you add red to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. Kind of cool. And we have a foil Ooh. champion of wits, which I just read, <laughs> but uh, this one's foil. This one's shiny. And we have planes also. All right, well... That's a pretty good pack. Yeah, not too bad. Thick and a foil rare. I kind of wish that foil rare was anything else, but... It's all right. It's all right. So, like I said, we'll do Strong Independent Black Woman last. Go through this pack. Real quickly. We have Resolute Survivors. We have a Hashep Oasis. Haven't seen this one yet. Torment of Scarabs. And Torment of Hailfire. Huh. I believe there's a common and uncommon and a rare. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of Torment floating around in the set. Uh, I think we already opened this, so I'm not going to read it. the first one you opened, I think. Yeah. Some, something like that. All right, strong independent black woman time. Oh yeah, actually, you know what? I want strong independent black woman. Samut, I think yes. that's her name. I want to, uh, I want her too because she fits into the doubling season deck pretty well. Seasoned walkers quite well, yes. Yeah. Ultimate right away. Find two more. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we will go through all this junk. Hopefully, end something strong. We have crypt of the eternals. We have. Farmer's Market, Vizier of the True, and Imminent Doom. Yeah. A lot of text on this bad boy. So, two generic and a red, it's an enchantment. Imminent Doom enters the battlefield with a Doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana, cost equal to the number of Doom counters on Imminent Doom. Imminent Doom <laughs> deals that much damage to target creature or player, then put a Doom counter on Imminent Doom. Doom. You do that much better than I do that. <laughs> All right. So that was my half. Uh, got a bolus and not a lot else, but pretty good. My turn. Start with the middle pile. Sounds good. 
So, uh, it's up to you to open four copies of Horse Lord. Shouldn't be too difficult. No. I don't think so. First Uncommon, Doomfall. <laughs> Alright. Well, Second Doom Uncommon, set too. Torment of Scarabs. Third Uncommon is Inferno Jet. And our rare is an Abandoned Sarcophagus. Hmm. You may cast an online card with cycling from your graveyard, and if a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it. Interesting. Three mana artifact. Huh. Space Enforced. It's kind of a neat card. I wonder if there's a cool combo deck around this. If there could be. Yeah. First uncommon, Hope Tender. Hope Tender. Second uncommon, Headship Oasis. Random Map Ruins. Wow. And lands. a rare is an Adorned Pouncer. I do like that card. Mm hmm. Because it's a cat. So stuff. it's a two mana one one with double strike, and you can internalize it for five, making it a four four. Pretty, I also uh, like that the cat's got a knife on his tail. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's that's pretty, pretty a reasonable bear, I'd say. And Fuller Forest. Nice. All right. Wretched camel. Sorry, I'm just looking at the commons off screen. Here? Richard Camel was quite an MVP in my sealed pool. Yeah. Gideon's Defeat is our first uncommon. Second uncommon, Sinuous Striker. Tenacious Hunter. And our rare is... The Horse Lord. Aww. The Locust God. This is a mythic. Legendary creature, God. It's a six mana 4-4 four, four with flying. And whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature with token with flying and haste. You can pay four mana to draw a card, then discard a card. And if it would die, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next huh. end step. Seems reasonable. And Ooh. consign to oblivion. Neato. It's regular. Oh, and there's the kitty. He looks far more Ooh. terrifying. Well, let's let's uh, let's do a little comparison here, because that's uh, that's what we got there. <laughs> I like that Bullis is like, this cat beat all the trials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deserves to be eternalized. <laughs> well, it's just so cute. It's adorable. He couldn't resist. So if we get a, if we get a invocation, which one do you want? Just in case we do, might as well call it. I don't really remember all the invocations no? in the set. That I one think, is interesting. I think I'd want a Damnation, because I think Damnation was in this one. I thought it was in the first one, but maybe it was in the second mm -hmm. one. They were released so early, yeah, getting confused on which one's which now. First Uncommon, Angel of the God Pharaoh. And they all kind of look second the same. Second Uncommon, Supreme Will. Third Uncommon is Burning Fist Minotaur. And our rare is Hour of Promise. All right. It's five mana surgery. Loop. Five mana sorcery. Search your library for up to two land cards, put them on the battlefield tap, and shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create two 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Huh. Interesting. Weird for... that a ramp deck makes creatures. Yeah, I was hey. going to say, it's weird for a green card to make zombies, even, <laughs> but okay. Just a regular forest. That's pretty boring. So, glowy guy's the odd one out here. It's true. He's the white minority. First uncommon, Chase's Defeat. Second uncommon, River Hopo. <laughs> River Poo Poo. Third uncommon, Consigned to Oblivion. Well, and our rare a foil of that. is Scavenger Grounds. Okay. Taps for colorless, and you can pay two and sacrifice a desert to exile all cards from all graveyards. That's... Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And I think the black... I, yeah, Landers I think it comes into play tapped is a little better. <laughs> I, I think you'd much rather want it. Oh, what? What? Yeah, that's really good. That's sweet. pretty sweet. Sweet. Nice. So that's, oh, oh my god. That. Wow. Now that was a saucy pack. Never mind that rare. <laughs> look at that. Never mind the rare. Look that at was those bad boys. Oh, Even man. a kitty. Yeah. Perfect. 
Wow. Now I'm now I'm excited. <laughs> that was a sweet pass. Now I'm excited. <laughs> Strong independent black woman. Which one though? Left or right? Uh, you went with left. Ah, oh, it's so shiny. So pretty. First uncommon, Nissa's Defeat. Second uncommon, Sunset Pyramid. A Chef at Dunes. And a rare is... Oh, that one. Endless Sands. It's kind of cool. So, taps for colorless. You can pay two and tap it to exile target creature you control, and pay four and sac tap and sacrifice it to return each creature card exiled with Endless Sands to the battlefield under its owner's control. You can't steal creatures this way. No. But you can protect them from removal spells. And, and you can, uh, if you're in, like, chump block mode, you can, like, chump block and then exile it before damage. Mm-hmm. Just keep it in a little time capsule. A graven abomination. That is an abomination. Three mana, three one. All right. <laughs> Goes in any deck, though. Nice! Keep the full art train rolling. Gonna go Zombies. for... <laughs> doopy looking skeleton man. All right. Rampaging Hippo. First uncommon, Meg Maroth. Cool name. Second uncommon, Vizier of the Anointed. Third uncommon is an unra Unraveling Mummy. And our rare is... Angel of Condemnation. Hmm. Okay. It's four mana, three, three, with flying and vigilance. You can pay two and a white and tap it to exile another target creature, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Or you can pay two a white, tap and exert it to exile another target creature until Angel of Condemnation leaves the battlefield. Hmm. It's kind of like a weird Oblivion Ring on a stick, sort of. But you can also flicker your own creatures, yeah. too. Nice. And Swamp. All right. Yeah, these, uh, I think of all the full art lands, other than Unhinged, of course, uh, I think these are my favorite. The Bowl of Thorns? Yeah. Specifically, like, the ruined ones, too. Mm -hmm. well, and I like that they match the first set. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. First uncommon is a Merciless Eternal. Second uncommon, Chef at Dunes. A Torment of Scarabs. And a rare is... A majestic Ooh. Miriarch. Okay, this thing... This thing mashed my taters <laughs> at the pre-release. Also didn't help that my opponent nissed into it, but... Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> so, it's five mana. Star, star. Its power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of creatures you control. And at the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature with flying, Majestic Matriarch gains flying until end of turn. The same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. Absolutely nutty, in, <laughs> especially in Sealed. Oh, that's yeah. Funny. This would be look amazing yeah. foil with those ghost wings, though. Yeah, it would. But keyword soup, the creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and an island. Boo! Yeah, that's a that's a good card though. Is it playable in constructed formats? I'm not sure, but it is pretty. We're gonna sweet. go with the right strong independent black woman. Yeah, that's absurd. All it's missing is the same is true for horsemanship. <laughs> <laughs> First uncommon, a quarry beetle. Second uncommon, struggle to survive. Devotee of strength. And our rare is... A Ramunap Hydra. Mm. Four mana, three, three, with vigilance, reach, and trample. Gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a desert. And it gets plus one, plus one as long as there's a desert in your graveyard. Not terrible. An island. Yeah. That's actually a really cool island. It is. That would also look nice full full art. 
Um, yeah, so with the with that card, I think in the next unset that they're printing, they should make like a version of that one, except it's just with all the like mechanics that are really obscure. It's like the same is true for flanking, vanishing, <laughs> horsemanship, and banding. And protection from homerids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just have like the same is true for like protection from red. Just like pick one randomly. Yeah, <laughs> First uncommon is an accursed horde. Second uncommon, fervent pain caster. Dunes of the dead. Dunes. And a rare is Chaos Ma. That sounds very epic. Seven mana six six, and when it enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to each other creature. All right, <laughs> nice. And a planes, most importantly. It always bugs me when they have really cool names like Chaos Maw, and it's like not really that playable. First uncommon, blood water entity. Second uncommon, Nissa's defeat. Third uncommon, riddle form. And our rare is some sweet, <laughs> some not on the floor. Hopefully, scavenger <laughs> ah, rounds. Yeah. If there's a foil full art land, I'll be I'll forgive the second yeah. copy of this. Oh, ah, not even close. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that did salvage it quite a bit last time. <laughs> Strong independent black woman from the center pile this time. Oh, hell no. First uncommon is Crypt of the Eternals. Second uncommon is Ifner Deadlands. A vile manifestation. And our rare is mm. Hour of Eternity. I, yeah. Three blue XX. Exile X target creature cards from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4-4 four, four black zombie. That's kind of cool, mm -hmm. actually. That does that could do some really cool so stuff. So it's like a 5 mana reanimate something as a 4-4 four, four, and 7 yeah. mana for two 4-4s. Four, yeah. Could be interesting. It's weird yeah. that it's in blue. It is very strange. Cool. <laughs> and forced. Okay. Scarab God. Is that what that is? Yeah. It's got ah. Scarab for head. That makes sense. It does stand to reason. First uncommon, Razakath's right. Second uncommon, Chandra's defeat. Third uncommon, Liliana's mm. defeat. It's a lot of defeating. And our mm. rare is Pride Sovereign. Yeah! <laughs> that makes two. <laughs> so, he's three mana, two, two, and he gets plus one, plus one for each other cat you control. You can pay a white tap and exert him to create two, two, or two, one, one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. Very solid card. Ooh. And a foil forest, but just a regular forest. But it, it is nice looking. It is, mm -hmm. it has a nice picture on it. And a regular swamp. Mm. That was a pretty good pack, actually. So we'll always take foil uh, base lands. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with those. No. Those will always be playable. Exactly. So I think we have two foil full art lands from the set now, right? We have so, a swamp yeah. and you open yeah, you got one. You got one in your sealed pool. Yeah. First uncommon, Chandra's Defeat. Second uncommon, Unconventional Tactics. Third uncommon, Desert's Hold. And our rare is... Earthshaker Kenra. Mm. It's two mana, two one with haste. When it enters the battlefield, target creature with power less than or equal to its power can't block this turn. And you can internalize it for six mana. Seems alright. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I quite like this art. Yeah. Blood pouring down the steps. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the horse. 
Ooh, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe there's a dupey horse in our immediate future. You think the god pharaoh himself has the horse? He might grant it to us. I mean, we opened him already, so we we unleashed him from his <laughs> from his plastic confines. So hopefully, we'll be found worthy. I hope so. Hopefully, he'll be willing to grant us a, a noble steed. All I want is a pony for Christmas, <laughs> or or like four of them. <laughs> Yeah. First uncommon, Jace's defeat. Second uncommon, resolute, resolute survivors. Vizier of the anointed. Doobie horse, doobie horse. Ah, apocalypse demon. Six mana flying, six mana star star flying. Power and toughness equal to the number of cards in your graveyard, and the beginning of your upkeep. Tap it unless you sacrifice another creature. It's no Lurgoif. And the full air forest that we open foil. Yeah. And the insect for the locust god. That's convenient. I don't think we have any insect tokens at our store, so... I don't think I've ever made one. Well, I don't think they'd be blue and red. I think that's yeah. new to him. That is weird for insects. There's a lot of, like, weird color shifting going on in this set. It seems like. Because Bolus does what he wants. I guess. First uncommon, imaginary threats. Well, I hope we have a real threat in the form of a doopy horse. In this Second time. uncommon, burning fist minotaur. A sun scourge champion. And our rare is... Eh. Reason to believe. That's, that's a reasonable card. One blue to scry three. And then you can aftermath it for five to look at the... Top card of your library, and you may put it on the battlefield if it's a creature card. Yeah. You don't put it into your hand. Yeah. yeah. That's a reasonable card. Believe me. Mountain. <laughs> Get it? Because reason. Believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with the Eternal. Oh. Gonna save the uh, Scarab God for last. Was the... F Actually, no. The first rare I opened was Hour of Devastation, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. I remember that. The <laughs> second one was Hor Torment yeah. of Hailfire. First uncommon, Crook of Condemnation. Second uncommon, Merciless Eternal. Third uncommon, Dunes of the Dead. And our rare is... Doobie Horse! Wait, what? I overshot. <laughs> God Pharaoh's Gift. Mm. Beginning of combat on your turn, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4-4 four, four black zombie. It gains haste until end of turn. Hmm. Seven mana artifact. It's but pretty... you can fetch it out with the card from the first set. It's true. And a Ruin Rat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Last pack. It's exciting. You gotta get an invocation and a doopy horse. Actually, is, is there a doopy horse invocation? That'd be amazing. I don't think so. That would be amazing. Then I don't really care what the border looks like. I'd want four of it. <laughs> First uncommon, Manticore Eternal. Because Manticores can pass the trials. Second what uncommon, Steward of Solidarity. Third uncommon is a Sun Scourge Champion. Doobie horse. Rare is Doobie horse. Doobie, damn it! <laughs> driven to despair. No horses that's a, for that's us. That's a fitting end. <laughs> that's a fitting end. <laughs> so, driven is a two mana sorcery until end of turn. Uh, creatures you control get tra gain trample, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. And despair is a two mana sorcery with aftermath. And until end of turn, creatures you control gain menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Yeah. Yeah. No foil horse. Yeah. Oh, man. And no invocation. So, uh, let's uh, go over highlights quickly. Highlights of this box include Basic Swamp, <laughs> Dutiful Servants, <laughs> and that's about it. The Solitary Camel. Yeah, and Solitary Camel. Uh, so yeah, we, we did pretty well there. So, uh, I'm actually not sure who wins. I don't know what Bolus is worth. Um, but, uh, I guess we'll find out, and you'll know already, because it'll be up there somewhere. Um, but yeah, so that was this. Uh, we will see you next Friday, where you can see each of these sealed pools in action.
against each other, plus the uh, stuff from the other video, which you can, of course, watch. Link is down below. And, uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye.